Hello my friends on YouTube. Today is Sunday the 29th of January 2023. Uh, today's video is the title is the glorification of the gods plural the gods in Islam. I chose this title because uh, recently the government of Egypt uh, decided to honor uh, an imam who have died a while ago his name Imam Asharawi I'm not against honoring any human being who deserve honoring I'm for it however we have to know who is this man to see whether he deserves to be honored or dishonored and we have to be honest about that so who is this man who is this man that the government and i am very sure whoever took the decision to make a coin to honor this man uh, I am very sure that the president of Egypt is very well aware of it and therefore he accepts it uh, and this is causing there are many people who the the Egyptian people are divided now between supporting and against. I would like to speak to, to, to the people who don't know this man. This man is a militant Muslim. A man whose thoughts and ideas are very much aligned with uh, ISIS Boko Haram, uh, Al Nusra, all these uh, radical, radical movements. For those who doesn't know about these move about these groups of people, they are militant Muslim. They apply Islam to the letter. For those who do who tell me no, no, these they don't understand Islam. These are the true, true Muslim. Why do I say that? Because they read the book and they apply what was used to be applied 1400 years ago by the founder of Islam. So let, let's take that to the Jewish faith per se. If you tell me a Jewish rabbi is applying the 10 commandments to his life and to his lifestyle wouldn't you say this is a true Jew never mind the rabbi any Jewish man or woman who apply whatever in the Torah to his or her life wouldn't we say this is a true Jew or any Christian who apply the teaching of Jesus 100% follows the teaching of his teacher we will say this is a Christian man or woman and I see these groups are applying 100% the Quran to their daily life as the early followers of Muhammad have applied it so the early followers of Muhammad we could call them also true Christian uh, I'm sorry true Muslims because they saw Muhammad they followed Muhammad they did as Muhammad said they did as Muhammad did so they are true Muslims And after Muhammad died, they killed one another. 
they are true Muslims because Muhammad told them one leader only one Khalifa if another Khalifa tried to rise up kill him so they kept killing one another applying what they learned today this man is honored by making a coin with his face on it in my opinion this is hypocrisy from the Egyptian government and from the leaders and I am there is no way that this decision was made without the knowledge of the president in Egypt and I'm wondering do we learn do we know what happened to President Sadat if we turn the clock back to 1981 do we know 1954 what these groups tried to do to President Nasser do we learn let's see so this man his he aligns totally totally with ISIS and Boko Haram and all these terrorists what what average Muslim call them terrorist groups and he honored him this is like honoring what ISIS is doing practically the same what, what does this man really believe or believe in he believes exactly like what Muhammad said he wants Khilafa Khilafa means it means like an Islamic world ruled by Islamic laws and principles and anyone who goes out of this line killed should be killed okay so now the Muslims they have some places when when ISIS goes and terrorizes Muslim these Muslims try to run away to Italy to Germany to France to Britain to Canada to the United States if you colonize the whole world you convert by force the whole world to be Muslim those who don't like the system where would they run no place no place every place would be similar to Somalia to uh, Libya to Yemen to Pakistan Afghanistan and so on and so forth hell on earth welcome to Islam so he believes in kil Khilafah and establishing one man as the Khalifa to rule the world <coughs> to rule the world we had three what's called Khilafah after the death of the founder of Islam the Amawi the Abbasi and the Ottoman Empire was the last one and Egypt was under these rules of Ottoman Empire and we Egypt hated the fact that we were uh, occupied by the Ottoman Empire you want to bring this back Isis believe in that this man who been honored believes in the same thing both of them ISIS as uh, or the terrorist groups believe in there are many things uh, in common with them but I'm going to mention a few they believe in applying the Islamic rules to every situation for example if a person steals his hand or her hand should be chopped off there's no warning you, you steal even if you're hungry your hand is chopped off if you steal an egg your hand will be chopped off the person who commit 
fornication will be whipped 100 times in public. If you are married and you commit adultery, you will be stoned to death, especially the woman. That, that's mainly for the woman. Men can get away with it. Uh, we remember in, I can't remember exactly when did this happen, but the Jordanian pilot who fell his plane crashed in ISIS region, he was taken alive, put in an iron cage, and the ignited fire in him alive. And as he was burning still alive, they covered him with dirt, buried him alive burning they are following in the footsteps of the blessed prophet of allah this imam who being honored believed in that isis does the same thing this is what isis did following in the footsteps of their leader Uh, we remember also a few years ago, I can't remember the year exactly, ISIS caught 21 Coptic Egyptian working in Libya. 21 men, young men, working in Libya to provide for their family. Coptic, because they are Coptic, infidel, they were led to the seashore and slaughtered like cows isis believes in that this imam who have been honored believes in the same thing so there is really no difference between the bar barbarism that it's taking place today by these groups and the thought and the teaching unfortunately he speaks only arabic and he his teaching while he was alive is all calling for these things to be done with the infidel the killing they're taking they're taking captives of uh, men and women and raping them uh, all these things isis believe in it he believes in it and the question here why the president of egypt president assisi accept the fact that they honor such a person. Let's go to 1954 when President Nasser was the president of Egypt. He didn't like these people a lot, the, these Muslim Brotherhood. He didn't like them at all. He knew that they are not to be trusted at all however he thought instead of antagonizing and making division in the country work with them and give them a space freedom of religion and let them as long as they don't cause trouble that's okay and publicly he said okay let's open a new page and let them be what they are they tried to assassinate him in 1984 in Alexandria. That's one. Two. President Sadat in 1981. Um, I think President Sadat took over after the death of President Nasser, 1969. And because he went to have treaty with Israel to end the war. He didn't want any more war, which I agree with. Who does? Because he shook hand with the Israeli Prime Minister, he had to be killed. Who killed him? 
these people, that group, the follower of this man. In 19, October 6, 1981, he was assassinated by these people. What's the I'm not wishing any ill on anyone. Okay. What is the future of the leaders today that you are working with you're working with these kind of people? You're giving them space to work after all that you didn't learn? Actually I really admire the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. I'm not saying he's a uh, who who is perfect. He's doing the best he can. He knew. He learned. He learned what these people are, and he knows very well that at the end freedom will prevail. So instead of resisting and living in the past in the stone age he moved forward but first he took certain steps instead of honoring these terrorist whether the terrorist in the past or today's terrorist he took the power from them he took the wealth from them without money they cannot move much they used to send billions of dollars every day all over the world to buy government officials, to buy votes, to buy land, to exert influence so that one day we can have Islamic Caliphate ruling the world. Instead of taking positive steps like the crown prince of Saudi Arabia we are going backward what is the price and who is going to pay most who paid at the time of Sadat he wanted to open a new page with them and work with them he was one of them he was one of the Muslim Brotherhood But because he didn't follow 100% in the footsteps of the founder of Islam like them, he ought to be killed. And he was. 1981. That was in the celebration of October 6, when the Egyptian forces crossed the Suez Canal and fought the Israeli forces and cleaned part of the Swiss Canal and he, he thought that's enough enough war enough fighting enough bloodshed in a way he came to the understanding that fighting will never end so better have a peace treaty at least for now and that was probably his his mind not forever because these are Jews is one of the Muslim Brotherhood these are Jews ought to be killed anyway but now we don't have the means actually one of the, the videos that I looked on the internet by this Imam Sha'awi I, I couldn't believe what I'm hearing as I was preparing for that video I couldn't believe what I was hearing he was saying 1948 Allah allowed the Jews to return to Israel Allah allowed that why why did Allah allow because we are supposed to kill them all Muslim we are supposed to kill them all so if they are scattered some in Germany some in Britain some in uh, America some in Canada some in Argentina and so on and so forth it's very hard to fight them and murder kill them all murder them all very hard however 
when you have them concentrated in one spot such as Palestine and you have them surrounded by many terrorist or Muslim groups you can hit them one hit destroy them all burn them alive get rid of them and do God a favor do Allah a favor that's what he was teaching and the government and the president of Egypt are honoring this man I, I shouldn't call him a man actually I'm sorry honoring this person I don't know if I call him a person even whatever you call him we thank you very much please comment because that helps the channel any comment even if it's negative please comment like and share thank you very much have a good day